Hi y'all, it's been a while since I've uh, done a moment of peace, but I kind of want to bring you up to up to speed on things that have been going on in my household. Uh, I'm undergoing a kitchen remodel, it's going to be six weeks. Uh, some of the hassle factors is the refrigerator's out in the garage, so to get a cup of coffee i got to come out here to get, uh, get the, the cream. Workmen come uh, and clean, like I said, it's going to be about six weeks, this is some of their tools and, and supp supplies. They cut the power off in the in the kitchen, so I can't show you. But everything's been stripped. The walls are bare. The, some of the drywall's been removed. The cabinets are all gone. Uh, this keeps some of the, the dust down. And this is my shortcut to the garage to get my coffee creamer and other things out of the refrigerator. So got some of the appliances here. Got more appliances coming next week. Got some of the other stuff packed in boxes. I've got more stuff over here in boxes. So, I got the coffee maker, most important uh, uh, appliance in the bathroom. So, after I get my creamer, go in the bathroom to get the coffee, bring it back out here, pop it in the microwave for, for a few seconds. Uh, as you can see from the rest of the dining room, this is where we've got some more stuff just kind of piled up, waiting for the six weeks ordeal to be over. All right, several months ago, we had a really terrific storm that took out a lot of trees, including this big red oak tree, it took out my back, back fence. And because of my back surgery, I was a little reluctant to get out here for a while, but uh, got my son to come out and help me under my supervision. He was able to use a chainsaw, cut out a, a few sections where it went through the, the fence, and also cut it here, so now it's on the ground. I'm not gonna bother to have this hauled off. I figured another 10 years it'll probably deteriorate. So, the only damage it really did, I've got a few pickets to replace and I can uh, repair this panel. But you can see how the tree that went down took out the tree in, in the back here. There's an old trailer behind me nobody lives in, so not a big issue. Okay, so I built a new computer. Here's a couple of shots where I did this in the living room had it spread all all out for a while I was able to reuse a couple of components but this is much faster in processing uh, video editing than the previous version which is about nine years old so I feel good about being able to my son uh, picked out the components for me uh, he's a director of IT at a small company and then I could text him for a few questions I had as I was doing because it's been a few years since I've had to get inside a computer case the other thing that's been keeping me busy since, uh, oh, since late last year uh, is, is taxes. I'm an AARP tax aide, and last fall I had to start on training, and that kept me busy all the way through January, and then we started filing season, and I'm working a couple of days a week doing tax returns and reviewing returns for uh, various uh, clients that come in to, you know, where we're targeting seniors and low income. This is a volunteer activity. None of us get get paid for that but it's keeping me pretty busy now with tax season being extended another uh, month that means we're going to be working in another another month so all that the only reason for bringing that up is it probably will have uh, some impact on me getting a video out every week but I'll do the best I can okay one of the things I'm getting back uh, getting the band back together so to speak is I'm doing getting back to doing a monthly hands-on workshop for my club the Chattahoochee Woodturners up in uh, Gainesville Georgia we uh, we say socially distance our lathes. Uh, we keep it down to no more than about six participants. But uh, we did one just a couple of weeks ago on on turning and all, and it was fun. People, it's been six months since we, uh, because of COVID, been able to do do a workshop, and people are beginning to get out. Out of the the five individuals that are there, four of them have already had their shots. Um, I haven't done any video, serious videos on thread chasing, but I thought I might do that. I was just playing around with this piece of dogwood. Uh, cutting uh, threads by hand is very satisfying, so I just made this little practice box out of dogwood. It's got the pith through it, but it's very dry, so it's stable. Ten threads per inch. No sandpaper, no finishing. Uh, I'll just set this in the corner and give it to somebody that walks through my shop one of these days. I'm still doing interactive remote demonstrations for clubs, so if your club is interested, uh, have them contact me. Information's on my website, mikepeacewoodturning.com. I did a lot of them last year because of COVID. Uh, it's slowing down a little bit, but a lot of clubs are realizing this is the new way of doing business, and very few clubs are able to get back together 
uh, yet. And this is another way for to get somebody like me in to do a demonstration who couldn't otherwise travel long distances to get get there. So uh, I think interactive remote meetings is going to be the wave of the future to also allow members that are maybe too old to drive at night or or they're out of town or they're not feeling well or they're inactive hobbyists and they just don't want to get out but they enjoy the camaraderie of the meetings through through Zoom. So I think clubs going to be doing that for a while even when they get back together. I think they'll be uh, doing a lot of uh, remote remote demonstrations or, or Zooming their meetings out to members.